one and all, and welcome to Seeing Through Glass, and welcome to a very sunny, very warm Los Angeles. Oh my god, I'm so happy to be back here. I was only in California six months or so ago for Car Week, but that feels like way too long ago. Now, if you missed last week's adventures, Paul Wallace and I went down to Monaco, and we went there because this year we can't actually attend the iconic Top Marks event, and that's because instead we've come here to California. Now, I've just got off the plane, literally just got off the plane. It was a ten and a half hour flight. I'm a little bit jet lagged, I'm a little bit dazed and confused. And I find myself in quite a quaint, small little town about an hour and a half south of LA at some kind of car meet. Paul Wallace is here in a brand new Ford Mustang. Uh, Parker from Vehicle Virgins is here in his heavily tuned Lamborghini Huracan. Uh, I am stood next to the car that I'm going to be using this week. More on that to come later. It's not a particularly surprising choice from me. Um, but yeah, I think there's like I think there's a convoy or a car meet or I'm not really sure what's going on. But we're just going to go with the flow because I'm back in LA and I'm so so happy about that. Yes, I am in an F-type. <laughs> am I that predictable? I think I actually am. Uh, what's beeping? Ooh, something. Let's put the roof down because we are in California, people, and this is an F-type R convertible. Rear wheel drive. Huge thanks to Jag USA. Jag USA, Jaguar USA. Um, for hooking me up once again in an F-Type. I just can't, I can't stay away from these cars. Uh, but we're now in a convoy, as, I, as I've just discovered. There's a Focus RS, there's Parker's Huracan, there's another Huracan, there's an Aventador, there's a Ford Explorer. Uh, it's all happening, it's all happening. But yes, here I am, my car for the next week, an F-Type R. Winning! We've come to like a a Porsche meet Porsche meetup, I believe. I'm still very confused and still very jet lagged, but I'm seeing some pretty amazing classic 911s and things hanging around. Um, and it feels like we're about to park up. Oh, and there seems to be some kind of amazing barbecue. Yes, America. Yes. Oh, scuds appeared out of nowhere. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Lovely. Lovely. <laughs> you gonna have fun here? <laughs> he looks fed up. Oh, no, that, Lambo's coming in. There is, yeah, that's Parker's Lambo. We've seen that already. Um, this is going to be totally my kind of scene. We have got a ton of classic Porsches lying around. We've already got the 430 Scud that I showed you. There seems to be an old BMW E30, I think. Anyway, let's dive on in. Something I had forgotten about LA car meets is how much dogs are a part of the car meets. It's amazing. This one sat in a 365 Speedster, is that right? So many cool... Uh, is it a 365 shape? That's where I'm going to get lost, guys. But the sort of outlaws, look at this one over here. Slammed to the ground. How often do you see those? That's amazing. Got a GT3 RS here. I'm going to keep walking down the line. Got some things down at the end, GT4s. Uh, the thing is, which I also love, I'm going to keep nerding out about how much I love LA car culture is the personalization everyone puts their own spin on their cars it's not going to be to everyone's tastes some people aren't going to agree but at least they do it I think in other parts of the world or maybe in Europe we're a little bit scared of modifying classics like this or iconic cars but here they really like to put their own spin on them and I love that I'm going to show you two of my favorites um, just come down here the first is a sort of rally safari spec I think it's a 912 a 912 but I could be wrong but it's just so so cool it's got these massive wheels on it it's got the roof rack with some skis and a suitcase and a spare wheel stickers all over it got the hound's tooth interior green paint but I love the fact it's dirty I just I mean imagine driving this thing around the world what a cool thing right behind a highly customized car uh, oh they've closed the engine bay this thing's got this insane like copper engine parts you can see look how custom the interior is with some of the the work that's being done there I think is amazing everyone's posing up to get their picture with the dog um, but yeah the amazingness does continue so much to see here <laughs> 
911 <laughs> 911R for the uh, modern uh, Porsche enthusiasts. Sneakily tucked away in here, which I quite like because, oh, oh, and look, a new GT3's just arrived. <gasps> a 991.2. When did you get here, you little cheeky bugger? That is amazing. But yeah, what I quite like is actually it's celebrating the heritage and the classic Porsches more than the modern. So when a 911R is just stuck here by the side, uh, it's pretty impressive. Now these idiots are interested. Look oh, at him. Here we go. Ow! Oh. Okay, fair play. Fair play. That was that was pretty insane. That was, insane. That was pretty. That was pretty good. Ladies and gentlemen, whilst there could be some incredible Porsches in here, the best car of the event is about to pull away. Oh, it was a nice M2. Cheeky. Go on, son. Well, that was a awesome, uh, an awesome surprise. Not what I think Paul or Parker were expecting. I think they were hoping for a Lamborghini meet. We had a sort of mini Lamborghini convoy and then ended up at a dreamy classic Porsche meet, which is even better, right? Aircon on, actually maybe roof down. Roof down, come on, LA. Um, anyway, now it's time for food. I don't even want to think what time it is in the UK. I don't really care. All I want right now is tacos. Where's he going? He doesn't trust street parking. <laughs> Classic LA. Yes, two hour parking, Monday to Saturday, 6, 6 p.m. to 2 a.m., four hours. You have to pay, you have to pay. Yeah? You have, have to you pay paid? here. Yeah, yeah, I paid oh, here. Okay. It's like two dollars, two dollars for like two hours or something like that. How are you finding this? I enjoy it. Yeah? I don't enjoy the manual gearbox in traffic, but. It looks good, it looks good in the it mirror. Looks... Now, oh, <laughs> hi. We used to come here so much because when I was doing Vlog Angeles, my apartment was just over there. Becca, you're a big fan as well, right? Did you miss out on Vlog Angeles? What about Vlogari? When I did a three-week tour of Italy in a Ferrari. Well, no. Anyway, these are the best, uh, what are these called? Tortilla chips. And we haven't even got into the main meal yet. freaking love today and I love being back in LA and I love being back in an F-Type. It's basically been a perfect day. We are now at a fuel stop because apparently Parker's Lambo does about 3 mpg. Um, I've still got three quarters of a tank so very economical driving for myself. Uh, but yes it's been a wonderful wonderful afternoon and I'm so excited by... oh he's, not, he's still filling up. Oh, that was weird. Anyway, so I thought we were about to go somewhere. Um, but yes, yeah, so much stuff coming up in this week ahead. If you have any ideas, anything you want to see from LA, let me know. Comment below um, because I want to just cram. Oh, 570S. Yes. Oh, it's all going off. This is why I love West Hollywood. It's always whips around. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but there's a white 570S yes, over there. Um, but yes, I want to just cram every day with as much as possible. So if you've got ideas, things you want to see, let me know. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure to subscribe for all the content still to come from this week and the future.